Welcome back, hackers and tech enthusiasts. In today's video, I am thrilled to guide you through the process of installing Kali Linux with the KDE desktop environment on your Android device. Get ready to witness the complete installation and setup steps right here. Make sure you watch this video till the end as I'll be covering all the crucial details you need to successfully achieve this setup. Trust me, you don't want to miss a single moment. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you never miss out of any exciting tech tutorials, hacking techniques, and cutting edge installation. Let's dive straight into the world of Kali Linux and Android. Let's get started. So welcome back everyone. Um, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to update our Tamox packages and we're going to install payroll distro. Now to do that, you're going to use the command pkg updates. Then you're going to install payroll distro with the command pkg install payroll distro. Okay. Now you're going to wait for that to finish installing. Okay. So once the installation is finished, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Kali Linux. But Kali Linux is not installed on Tamox Spirit Distro by default. So we're going to edit an installation script for Kali Linux. To do that, you're going to use the command nano dollar prefix dollar prefix, which is the user folder, then forward slash etc forward slash period distro. Okay. Period distro because we are editing the installation file in the period distro directory. Okay. Then we're going to name the file Kali.sh. Okay. So forward slash Kali dot sh okay then you're going to click on enter all right and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to paste the installation script in the windows that comes up okay now once that is done you're going to exit by using the control x command and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Kali Linux. Now to install Kali Linux, you're going to use the command period distro install Kali. Okay. Install Kali. And you're going to click on enter. And the installation of Kali Linux should begin. Okay. So it is going to take a while, but once Kali Linux is installed, you're going to log into Kali Linux. And you're going to do that with the command period distro login Kali. Alright registro login Kali and as Kali okay now as soon as you are logged into Kali Linux the next thing we're going to do is we're going to update our terminal to update your terminal you're going to use the apt update command okay apt update that is going to update the terminal so I'm going to wait for the update to finish now and now that the update is done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install, you know, the KDE desktop. Now to install the KDE, you're going to use the command apt install Kali desktop KDE, okay? Kali desktop KDE. The file is about, you know, the download is about 1 gig. So you're going to make sure you have data when downloading, all right? Now once the download is done, you're going to be asked to select a layout matching your keyboard okay click on ok and you know select a layout matching your keyboard as for me i'm using the english keyboard so i'm just going to click on english then you're going to wait for the installation to complete all right all right i forgot there's another important package to install which is the dboss x11 package so you're going to install that with the command apt install dboss dash s11 okay apt install the boss dash x11 and um, that is going to in install that package all right so now that the boss is installed the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head straight to the installation of vnc and setting it up so that we can connect it to the gui using you know um our vnc application so to do that the first thing i'm going to do on kali linux is you're going to type the command echo then we're going to type display is equal to ratio one which is we want to connect to localhost one then the um the package we want to display is the plasma session and um we're going to save that we're going to save that in the you know the user forward slash local forward slash bin folder and we're going to name that particular command we're going to name it start server and i forgot we're going to add the bus okay 
so you're going to add the debust launch command all right so display is equal to ratio one debust launch then plasma session so i'm going to give this as a this command executable permission now to give it executable permission i'm going to use the ch mode plus x command okay then followed by the you know the working directory and the name of the the command itself so now that we've done that we're going to head over to tamox and we're going to install vnc on tamox okay now to do that we're going to first install a package called x11 to install x11 you're going to use the command pkg install x11 repo now x11 is the package that helps us connect to gui on tamox okay so you're going to install x11 with the command pkg install x11 repo and then we're going to install tiger vnc and x server now to install tiger vnc you're going to use the command pkg install tiger vnc then you're going to install x server with the command xorg dash x host okay and you're going to click on enter and um, that is going to do it that is going to install the vnc and everything you need for the vnc to be up and running all right so now that that is done we're going to also create a shortcut command for login to do that you're going to echo vnc server then we're going to connect the vnc server to a tcp protocol to do that you're going to use dash listen tcp ratio one and um of course we want the tcp protocol to be you know to be available to every other local host connecting in the server so we're going to do that with the command display is equal to ratio one x host then space plus all right and we're going to save this in the bin folder of tamox so to do that you're going to just use um dollar prefix okay dollar prefix which is the user folder then forward slash bin which is the bin folder and we're going to name that command connect vnc okay connect vnc and you're going to click on enter and of course we're going to give it executable permission with the ch mode plus x command of course so let me clear this ch mode plus x and you're going to click on enter good so um let me let me try and list this thing to be sure that you know it has been given executable permission of course it's all green to be sure that the file has executable permission the file has to be green in color okay and um let me cut it so that we can see what we have inside this particular command cat by using the cat command as you can see we have the command vnc server dash listen tcp ratio one then this the display command so we are good to go to log into vnc now you're just going to type the command connect vnc and if you're doing this for the first time you're going to be required to create a password so please create a password and do not forget that password okay create a password you can easily remember and to connect kali linux to that tcp protocol we opened earlier and made public you're going to use the start server command that we created you know and um i use the net on application so i'm just going to open my application and i'm going to click on connect and we are live so now this is basically it. the kde desktop has been installed so now we can you know we can just explore you know we can just explore the desktop so i'm just going to show you a video of the installation but how to install tools and you know use them I'm going to be showing you those later and you know if you have a video or you know how to install tools by yourself you can just you know go ahead and start installing tools on this you know on this particular operating system so this is how you install Kali Linux with the KDE desktop on your Android device okay so that is it um, I'm screwing through a list of applications that has been installed by default you can see that Firefox has been installed vlc player has been installed and we have vim vim has also been installed by default okay so um i am not going to make this video longer than this okay to the most important part of this video please it is important to always kill your server when you're done using your operating system okay to kill your server head back to tamox um switch your section back to tamox okay always switch your session back to tamox just like this and make sure you kill your server to kill your server use the command vnc server dash okay just one dash dash then kill and what are we killing we are killing the session one okay which is the localhost one you're going to kill that and that is it that is all for this video if you have questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll be sure to reply as soon as i can 
make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye